Hey guys, how are you doing? It's a Saturday morning for me here and I'm excited to get this video to you. Um, today we're really gonna be working glutes again and quads, those thighs, because you know that I love that area. And as women, I know that you guys love that area and men too, because you want the butt to be looking tight, right? Okay, so we're gonna start the video like I've been doing all of them with a warm up, a five minute warm up, and then we're gonna get into our cardio today, which is gonna be cardio jump lunges. So we're probably gonna be sweating pretty bad. Um, we're gonna do some walk-up push-ups. In between, we're gonna do some planks with some abs and some knee to chin planks that's gonna really work the abs there. And we're gonna continue to do that cardio in between. Then we're gonna do some side planks, toe reach, alternates. We're gonna do some pistol squats. Oh yeah, we're going for them. You're gonna be feeling this tomorrow. Your butt and your thighs are going to be hurting. And you want that, right? Yeah, we want that. We're gonna come on and do some more hip thrusts for the behind, some star jumps. And we're gonna try and not cheat and really get that cardio going because I know that some people when they do their cardio, they're like, oh, it's hard. Um, but we're gonna, I have some tricks that you won't cheat. And so we're really gonna be able to get down there and work that glute, really, really get into that muscle, okay? We're gonna do some more second position, little pulses and squats, my ballet burn for those legs and those thighs, some slow squats with weights, like I said, and some chair glute thrusts. And then I'm gonna end it with a surprise. <laughs> um, and I don't even know if I can do the surprise. And today, I just wanna say, <sighs> it's one of those days where I really am gonna have to push myself, and you guys might have to push yourself too. Okay, so can't wait to do this workout. Let's get it rolling, rolling, let's get it started, all right. We are going to start this workout today. I got a little bit smart and I got a water bottle because I've been apparently watching my videos and I've been kind of choking a little bit because I haven't been drinking water. So get your water. Hello, that's a no brainer. Today you're gonna need some weights because we're gonna do slow squats. I'm gonna use two eight pounders. If you wanna go higher, please do. If you only have fives, do it. If you have nothing, you don't have to use anything, but you know my recommendation is use something, cans, water bottles. You're gonna need a chair because we're gonna work the butt. We're gonna work the butt because we know everybody loves it and the thighs. So you can use the stool, a chair, um, coffee table, bench, a little step up stool, whatever you have. But um, let's get this going. We're gonna start with our warm up, as always, for five minutes and let's get going. Okay, so. As usual, I am going to start with five minutes of running in place. What do we have today? What do we have? Ooh, walk up push ups with abs. So, really, the push up is going to be the only exercise that we're going to be using the chest and the arms. Although, I did say I was going to put a surprise in there for you, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't even know what it is yet. I gotta make this fun for me too. Okay, so right now I'm feeling already just tired, like, ugh, this is the hardest part of the workout, getting started. <sighs> but I know I'm gonna feel amazing after it. It's January. The weather's beautiful here. It's been lovely. It's not the best thing because it could be, shouldn't be this hot this time of year. But it is nice to get a little bit of break from the freezing. Not the freezing. I refrain from saying freezing because it's never cold here, but cooler, cooler. It's a little chilly here. It's nice to see the sun coming through the windows in the morning. It makes me really happy. <sighs> nice, light jog. So what I feel right now is everything getting warmed up. The quads, the calves that really do need to get warmed up. Just the whole system is nicely warming up exactly what we want. I 
think about people who are marathon runners who run for hours and hours and miles and miles. And you guys are super badass because I don't know how you do it. I do not love jogging. But it is amazing for your heart cardio, burning lots of calories and keeping you in tip top shape. But me, never loved running. So kudos to you joggers out there and runners and marathon runners. You guys are amazing. Now, if you guys don't like jogging in place, you can certainly do jumping jacks. You can certainly do any sort of jump roping, anything that you feel is going to get your heart rate up and get your body warmed up. The reason that I like jogging and jumping is because we're also burning calories and because we don't have a lot of time, we always want to burn calories. I'm actually going to be doing a video on how to burn calories all day long when you're not working out how to stay fit all day long when you're not working out. I'm excited to get that one going. So many videos, so little time. So let's go out and in. I wish this could just be my job doing these videos every day. That would be the dream. That would be the dream. Speaking of the dream, I wanted to say to you guys that we only have one time that we get to go around in this lifetime, so do what you love. Laugh more, have more fun. Don't take life so seriously. We only go around once. So let's have fun, it flies by. You all know that, it flies by. If you have kids, you know that even double time. They're like a baby and then they're like, whoa, what happened? Hey, how many minutes am I going? One more. See, now I'm getting into the groove of it. Getting into the groove of it. Okay, a little more jogging. Nice light jogging. I got my high-waisted action going on today rather than rolling it low. Kind of like this new high action, <laughs> high waist action. It's fun um, in fashion for sure. I like trying different styles with my clothes. Of course, if you guys look at my other videos, it's all about styling and fashion, hair and makeup but I like combine, combining them all together. Okay, I think we're going to five. I'm gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're gonna start exercising. I just didn't tell you how many of these we're going to do, so we're gonna do 20 of each. If I think it's too hard, then, you know, we'll make it less. If I think it's too easy, I'll add it on, because it's all surprises here. Okay, so we are gonna be doing Walkouts to a push up, and then we're going to be doing some planks in and for the abs. So we're going to walk out, do a nice push up, nice and slow. We're going to bring the leg in, the leg out and down, walk it back up. One. Nice push up, opposite leg, bring it up, up and down, walk it up. That feels so good, that stretch in the hamstring. Again, down. This time we're going to bring in the right. What are we at? Three, good. Four.
seven, try and go all the way down, that push up, ooh, eight, take a little break after, ten, nine, ten, that was really hard. But that was really good. We're really stretching out those hamstrings. Let's try not to cheat on the push-ups. I always tend to cheat because I hate push-ups. Oh, I mean I love push-ups. Convince yourself, convince yourself. Try and get your chest to touch the mat and then you know you're not cheating. Really come up and stretch that hamstring as much as you can and work that ab. So when you come in, really like pull it in, work the ab and that plank and then kick it up work the glute because it's all about glutes and thighs today. I'm just throwing in a little push-ups because we love them. They're the best. They change your body. We have 10. 10 more. Let's do this. Two more. Nine. Seem to be moving forward. No joke there. No joke. Hey guys, so in between those really difficult push ups and planks and glute raises, we're going to do our cardio, which is going to be jump lunges, so we're just going to do 20 of them, so we know our lunges, we're going to go with that, we're just going to jump it, okay, remember, we don't want that knee going over, you guys know this, you know the drill, you've been doing it with me, let's do 20, this is just going to be our cardio, here we go, one, two, Twenty's too easy, we're doing 30, Maybe 40, 10 more. Okay, 40 jump lunges, I totally lied. But like I said, I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, side planks, we love them. We'll do 20 on each side. Have we done these? We haven't done these in a while. Get your body nice and straight, one arm out. We're just gonna come up and touch the toe. We have 20 on each side. Two, three. Thirteen. Ooh. Fourteen. Fifteen. Breathe. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Come on. I knew it was going to be a hard day for me, but it really, really is. <sighs> Pushing through. And these shouldn't even be that hard for me, but I'm like, what? Okay. Can you see me? There we go, 20. One, two. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh. We did it! Great job.
job, guys. We got our cardio 40, remember? Because I changed it. Okay, here we go. Is it just me, or are you guys feeling like this too? If it's just me, then either you're not doing it right or I'm not doing it right. Okay. Pistol squats. What the heck are pistol squats? Okay, so we're gonna put all the work in one little leg. One little glute, one little quad. From the side, here's a regular squat. The difference between a pistol squat one leg's gonna be out. It takes a lot of balance. I have my right leg out, I'm gonna bend with my left, and I'm just gonna come up like that, okay? It does take a lot of balance. If you need, you can hold onto a wall or a chair, the back of a chair. Um, eventually, you'll get your balance. I'm gonna face to the side. If you have a carpeted surface, it's gonna be a little bit trickier to stay on balance. This is wood, so it's definitely better. Okay, I'm gonna start with the same leg, right leg out, left leg bent, and I'm gonna go down for 20. As low as you can go, and then squeeze the butt on the way back up, because it's all about the butt. Two, three, squeeze it on the way back. Come on, nine, come on, 10, 10 more. I'm not gonna look forward, I mean to the side to you guys, because this takes all my concentration and all my balance. I have to really focus. 15, ow, 16, 17, 18, hurts so good. 19, squeeze it, squeeze it. You guys feel that? Well, you should, because you're using all your body weight on just one leg. In between those, we're gonna do 40 jump squats. Let's get our cardio going. You wanna make these harder? Go lower. Bigger, more dynamic moves. If you do, and it doesn't hurt your knees or your back, go all the way down, because it's great. If you need to stretch, stretch your glutes out after this one. You'll be feeling it. Again, it's my gift. This beautiful Saturday, we have 40. Next 20 hard. Really big jumps. If 
Fabulous. What do we have next? Hip thrusts. Working more on that bootay. So, you guys remember these? I think I did these on my first video ever on butt and abs. You've already been working your butt this whole time. So, poor thing. We gotta work it harder. Hands are gonna be facing towards your butt. Arms bent. Both legs bent. We're gonna straighten out that right leg and just thrust it up for 20. Here we go. Ten more on this side. Ten. Two, one. I'm totally laughing because my stomach is like totally grumbling. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. Not from hunger, but from that water that I drank. It's like Okay, those are killer, right? Especially after you've already been working the glutes. The glutes are like, no! And you're like, yeah! All the way up and squeeze it. Always want to squeeze it. This is the other side. Get as high as you can go. Ten more. Oh my gosh, the gurgling. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Ow. Eighteen. Come on. Squeeze it. Ah. Great job. Your butt hurts, I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's supposed to hurt because that's what changes it. Do we really have to do those jump lunges? Oh yeah, 40. You don't have to do them as big, dynamic moves. You can do them smaller. Shorten up the movement as long as you're moving with me. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier. It's cracking me up. Star jumps. Fabulous. Star jumps. I want you to catch air. That means I want you to jump. Jumping is the best way to get your heart rate up. So, you guys remember my lovely star jumps? The only difference is in between, we're going to touch the ground. So I know you guys aren't cheating. Not just you, but me. I don't want to cheat. So we're gonna jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're getting a squat in between because we're touching the ground. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven. Come on. Ooh, you touch that ground. There's no cheating there, is there? Water. Water. Water break. I'm taking a lot of breaks. Walk around. Start to take everything out of you. They're great. I love them. I have this whole wall full of photographs of me and my daughter here, so it inspires me to work harder. Some of them are a little crooked, so my OCD's kicking in a little bit. I want to kind of organize that. Jumping up and down kind of moves the photos. But I've got quite a few. I know one thing. I know if you work out, your kids will work out. My mom worked out all the time growing up. I was watching her. My dad also is an athlete. And I just felt like it was in the blood. So if you do it, your kids will just copy you because you're a role model. They follow you. So work out. They'll see mommy and daddy doing it. Trust me, when they grow up, they'll do it too. Here we go.
20 more. Well, let's see, easy next to the start times, right? Really? Okay, we're going back to my ballet class. Because I remember when I did this last week, the next day, literally my legs were shaking. It's a little bit like the bar method or daily method where you're holding the position and just uh, 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 squeezing. We're gonna do 20. So we're gonna get into a second position, which basically your toes are just pointing outside. We're gonna come up, called the releve or eleve in ballet. We're gonna come down to a nice, painful second position squat. It's not really painful. And you know what I say here, we're gonna do 20. Go to your happy place. Keep those toes up. I mean, sorry, the heels up. You're on your tippy toes. Lost count completely, doesn't matter. I think that's seven. Thirteen. 16, 17, 18, we're not done. You know we're not done, we're gonna go low. Oh my goodness. Meditation, focus, breathe. They're shaking, we're gonna do little pulses for 20. Baby ones, go as low as you can go. If you can't go that low, don't worry about it, but try. If you wanna take a break for a second, you can come up. 10 more. Okay, stay down there. I told you this was glutes and thighs are shaking. Oh my gosh, shaking. Okay, wow. Stretch that. Mine were shaking. Good and bad sign. Good sign, working that muscle, bad sign. I'll feel it tomorrow. I'll feel it two days from now, even more. So, stretch. They were like this, shaking. I should like zoom in on that. Okay, we're not done with that. We're not done with that butt glute, so get your heavy weights. And as I promised, we're doing very slow squats with weights. Show you from the side, we're gonna do 20. We're just gonna go all the way down, touch those weights to the ground, and up nice and slow. Squeeze when we get up. We're at four. Nice and slow. Six. Squeeze it. Make sure those weights hit the ground so I know you're not cheating yourself. Okay, we have ten more, but this time when we come up, we're gonna come up. We're gonna work our calf. Come up on that tippy toe. I don't think we use our calves enough. And they're so important with balance, helping us with balance. So let's work them. Six, nice and slow. Seven, eight, nine, come on, one more. Let's stay up there on that tippy toe. Can we stay up there on that tippy toe, guys? Just do 20 raises, calf raises. Fifteen. Yikes. Ow! Good job. All right. <coughs> sweat check. Yeah, sweat check. Lunges, jump lunges, 40. I'm doing some small because I'm getting exhausted. your butt but your butt really needs it because you guys want a tight glute so we're gonna do some chair thrusts individual left glute 
right glute, we've done this before, grab a chair, grab a bench, stool, whatever, get some elevation, you've got to have elevation. Get your butt all the way, close, to the very tippy toe, that chair, hold on to it so it doesn't wiggle and wobble. Oh, I have a nice butt in my hair, it's giving me like a little pillow. All right, let's start with, we're going to put it right on the edge of the chair, right here. We're going to do the left glute first. Ten. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. That's what it's for. Come on, squeeze. Okay. Twenty on the other side. Here we go. Let's just do both to make it a little bit easier, but let's move them to the center because that's a little bit harder. We're not going to do them individual. We're going to do both glutes right and left at the same time for 20, right in the center. Here we go. Come on, squeeze. Ooh. Ten more. Ten. Four. Three. Two, one, that is going to give your glutes some pain, so please crisscross your legs, just pull those knees right to your chest. Ah, oh, that feels good. Oh, stretch that, roll that up and down a little bit, rock it. Put those feet, stretch out for a second. We're not done, we're almost done. We have jump, lock, jump, jump lunges, rather, for 40, and I have a surprise for you guys. You love surprises, right? Okay, let's do this. Move this chair out of the way, because we're almost done. We're at the end, we don't mess around, we get right to it. Twenty. Thirty. I have a surprise for you. Get some water. I have a surprise. You're not even going to believe this, but I filled my whole surprise, and then it was it all got deleted. Unbelievable. Okay, it's okay. I'm going to continue on with this. Um, we're doing a hold push-up, and it's something I've never done before. Basically, we're going to get into a push-up, hold it for 30 seconds, but we're going to spread out the arms. Okay, so usually when we do a push-up, our arms are here. We're just going to try and widen our arms as far as we can. Now, the stronger we get, we'll be able to get a full span and hold it for 30 seconds. Um, if you can't go out this far, and I really doubt that I will, I want you to bend your arms, but at least... I want you to be a lot wider than you would be in a regular push-up. And we're just going to do 30 seconds of it. So you guys are going to be right here watching me. you see what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's a regular plank push-up position here. And I'm just going to slowly start to widen this. That's really, really hard. Okay, so it's really wide. It's like, this is as wide as I can get. I'm going to come down. I'm just going to hold it. 